every Christmas day, we always have pigs in blankets, or as you probably call it, relatives sleeping in the spare room. <laughs> Hello, what's that crack? What's that story? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today we're checking out some Gary Delaney live at the Apollo. I've never reacted to this guy. I've never checked out this guy. I love this channel because I get to react to all these British comedians for the first time and it's sick. But yeah, let's see what Gary Delaney is. Let's see how good he is. Let's go. You know when you're a kid and you go to the dentist yep. and if you don't cry, they give you a badge or a sticker. Yeah. yeah. Well, I had a prostate exam today. <laughs> what? You got to... Just get rid of this. <laughs> sorry, sorry. So you got the thumbs up button, the thumbs up, uh, what do you want to call it? It's always in America games. So that's what you got for not crying. Oh my God. But yeah, you guys over 14. I think it's over 40. Go check your prostate. Prostate. Go check it out. Go, go, get, go get it checked out. Please, you never know. Please, please do. Thank you. Hello, Apollo. Oh, you seem nice. So, my grief counsellor died recently, but... <laughs> Luckily, he was so good, I didn't give a shit. <laughs> Nice to be back, though. Last time I was here, a girl asked me for sex. I had to disappoint her. We had sex. <laughs> somebody over there laughing at the idea somebody might have asked me for sex. Wasn't supposed to be the funny bit in that joke, but <laughs> nice to see you again. <laughs> I'd recognise that laugh anywhere. <laughs> Only tonight it's slightly less hurtful. <laughs> So I'm trying to learn to be a more sensitive lover. I got a DVD, How to Improve Your Foreplay Technique. It was really good. I had to fast forward through the boring bit at the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> the young couple next door to me have recently made a sex tape. I mean, obviously, they don't know that yet. <laughs> I used to go out with a parachutist with IBS, but she shat on me from a great height. <laughs> I think it's sad the word legend has been devalued from pulling a sword from a stone to unexpectedly returning with crisps. <laughs> I hired a landscape gardener, but he said he couldn't help as my garden was portrait. <laughs> oh. I like this guy, I like this guy already. I, this is my kind of guy. I love this one liners. Some are dirty and some are just, some make you really think. I love that, I love that. Oh my days. What the fool? The grief cancel one. That was very, very good. That was very, very good. I was thinking, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, this guy's good. Loving it. Every Christmas day, we always have pigs in blankets, or as you probably call it, relatives sleeping in the spare room. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. It's tradition in our family that we always have a Christmas jumper, mm. and then it's my job to talk them down. <laughs> I went on a barging holiday, I haven't got a boat, I just kept pushing people into canals. <laughs> I don't like to eat anything labelled reformed ham, as I think it's unfair that the pigs are slaughtered after they've got their lives back on track. <laughs> This morning I went to a meeting in my premature ejaculator support group. Yeah, it turns out it's tomorrow. <laughs> a couple of the gentlemen there started clapping before the end of that joke, which is I like to, to appreciate that. I accidentally kicked my dog early and it bit me on the bollocks. My mate said, it's karma. I said, no, if anything, it's even more angry. I tell you what always catches my eye, short people with umbrellas. <laughs> yeah. I put on a lot of weight, so I rang up Weight Watchers, 
I said, it's an emergency, can you send somebody round? And they said, yes, we can, we got loads of them. <laughs> I was actually thrown out of Weight Watchers for making sarcastic comments at the weekly weigh-in. As you can imagine, I accepted the decision with huge grace, because they threw her out as well. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, that just reminded me, I just got a flashback from Lil Britain. Is it Lil Britain or, yeah, yeah, is it Lil Britain? I think, yeah, it's Lil Britain. Remember the scene where uh, Fat Fighters, you've seen Lil Britain, uh, check it out. Lil Britain is actually probably one of the best comedy sketches in the uk uh it's what's this kid's name again uh matt lucas and i forgot the other guy's name but yeah there's a scene where the guy apparently was meant to be the guy it should be 10 people to stop eating but he he, he actually eats the most but yeah check it out little britain wet watches you would absolutely love it i've already watched this so i'm not gonna react to it let's go i was watching tv the announcer said there's a documentary about the clitoris on the red button but i couldn't find it <laughs> If you watch a porn film backwards, it's about a man who hoover spunk off a woman. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then breaks her washing machine and leaves. <laughs> We've all done it. <laughs> a friend of mine had a penis extension. Now his house looks really stupid. <laughs> I was in a sex shop, I saw a dildo described as nine inches long and realistic. I thought, well, which is it? <laughs> My granddad went down in history, and on one occasion, fingered a girl in geography. <laughs> There's only one thing I don't like about Halloween, which is... Which <laughs> all? I thought PPI was just something you could get if you didn't wear goggles at the swing baths. <laughs> My girlfriend's dog died, so to cheer her up, I got an identical one. She was livid. What am I going to do with two dead dogs? <laughs> I bought a chocolate bar on the inside of the wrapper. It said, you're a loser. I wouldn't mind if there'd been some sort of competition on. <laughs> Making things worse, it was a boost. My uncle Derek was found dead with a belt round his neck and a dildo up his ass. At his funeral, the vicar said we'd always remember him for his charity work. <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> I accidentally filled the escort with diesel. She died. worry when a woman sees me naked for the first time that she's just going to scream and run out of the park. <laughs> when I heard you could now be a sperm donor by post, I came in a jiffy. <laughs> My girlfriend said she wanted to try some new condoms with something special inside to boost her pleasure. I said, oh, what's that? And she said, other men's cocks. <laughs> I've been trying to persuade my girlfriend to sexually stimulate me with her key ring, but she just keeps fobbing me off. <laughs> <laughs> You've been lovely having Gary Lady. Thank you and good night, Lord. I'm not gonna lie. One of the best reactions I've had in a long time. Force wow, wow, wow. Gary Delane, wow. You guys were right. I think I've got about five comments in the last few days saying check out Gary Delaney that makes sense because I've always thought Jimmy Carr is the king of um, one-liners which I still think he is but this geezer's right behind remember like, this guy and uh I reacted to someone was it Milton Jones he was very very good as well but I rate Gary Delaney oh my god wow 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 that was that was really good that was really good there, there was something that was like so dirty but he just couldn't ever laugh they were so good. I really, really loved that. There were so many as well. Just kept coming at you. Pause. I didn't mean it that way. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you guys like that, please comment down more below. Subscribe. Push all notifications. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.